Police Chief Neil Noakes presented his crime reduction plan to city leaders. The uh, goals we had were rather lofty, like a 10% reduction in violent crime. Even he admits very... it was a tall order for his police department, especially since Fort Worth is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. His promise included tackling homicides, aggravated assaults, and robberies. He and his team drafted a plan to target high crime areas, increase community engagement, and invest in new technology. Yes, there were, that, was, that was a tall order that I was placing on myself and our department, but I got 100% confidence in the people that are actually implementing the plan. And so far, he says his plan is working. Chief Noakes sat down with me one-on-one -on -one to talk about the city's first quarter crime report and high-profile crimes in a popular entertainment district. First quarter of this year, we had eight homicides. Now, don't get me wrong, eight's not the magic number. Zero is the magic number. But that's a 55.6 decrease, 55.6 over last year. Last year, Noak says Fort Worth saw 18 homicides in the first quarter and 25 the year before that. Not only are the number of homicides shrinking, but aggravated assaults and robberies are too. This is my responsibility, every single bit of it. That includes protecting people visiting the city's entertainment districts. Recent gun violence in the West 7th Street area forced the city to reevaluate safety. TCU student Wes Smith was shot and killed outside a bar last year. Since then, police added more cameras to help reduce crime. Using technology, maybe to spot someone who has a gun, spot someone who's selling drugs, uh, spot someone who's maybe got the potential to commit a violent crime. The department says it confiscated 115 illegal guns in the West 7th Street area in 2023 with the help of technology and increased security. Noak says it's just a start, admitting the rest of 2024 will be an even bigger challenge to keep crime down. In Fort Worth, I'm Scoop Jefferson.